Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a review and a, and a tutorial for this look from Ickle Talk Cosmetics. Um, they sent a few samples to me a few weeks ago and I'm just going to do a quick review followed by a tutorial. Michael Todd Cosmetics is based solely online and they're based in the US. They ship worldwide, I believe. Their products come in this pretty purple box. <laughs> I really do like their eyeshadow and their eye primer the most. And they also do have a line of cosmetics for men. So if you're a guy and you're watching this and you want to find a company that does male cosmetics, then go check them out. The website's in the under bar. And I hope you guys enjoy this review and tutorial. The things that I like most are the primer and the eyeshadows. The eyeshadows are really good and they have a pretty generous size because this is the standard max size and it was, this was like $17 Canadian and this is like seven, also $17 but it's also bigger. Michael Todd has a really good range of eyeshadows. They have matte, frosty, um, cream and mineral eyeshadows and this is the matte and this is a frosty, frosted eyeshadow and this shade is called Baby Pink and this one is called Lush and their matte shadows are amazing because I noticed that some can be pretty dusty if you put them on and they can and they don't last very long and they're not very pigmented but these are pigmented, they're not dusty and they last the entire day and I use this as my base color for this eyeshadow look and this is the eyeshadow look that I use for my tutorial here is the blush, the powder blush called Zodiac and it's also, it's a matte blush and it's very pigmented because this looks really strong when I look at the mirror right now but on camera it looks a bit washed out but yeah, it's been, all I needed was one swipe of this, of this blush and that's... And the second thing is the primer called Michael Todd Eyeshadow Base and I'm just going to demonstrate on my hand it blends in so evenly and I just, it has a really nice tacky texture to it so you know that your eyeshadows are going to stick to it and it has a pretty good quantity and I really do like this. I actually used it for a photo shoot last couple of weeks ago and it worked really well. And I really do like the packaging, it's very sleek and it has a clear, it's in a clear bottle so you can see how much up how much of this you're using up. It's the lip gloss, the creme glacé lip gloss. Um, this is called Shoppy. That's the name of the thing. And this is what it is. It's it's a really pigmented lip gloss. Um, I find that it almost has the consistency of a lipstick, but goopier. And it's not too sticky. And it has a really good color payoff. I just didn't use it for my tutorial because it's really sparkly and I don't like using sparkly stuff for every day. But this is definitely a more evening wear type look. And it has a fruity scent to it if you're into that. And lastly, we have this. It's a 3-in-1 stick. It's called the Everything Stick. It can, it can be used on lips, eyes, or cheeks. So this is the shade and it's called Trixie. It's a nice bronzy shade, so you can use it as like, you could probably use it to contour, you could probably use it on your lips or as eyeshadow. And if, you, if you're if you gonna use a product on your lips and your, eyesha and your eyes, I do recommend that you clean it in between because the mouth is a very dirty area. Anyway, so that's it for my review and I hope it was helpful to you guys and I'll put all the links to the products I reviewed in the underbar so you can check the website out for yourself. And I really do recommend the eyeshadow and the eyeshadow base or slash primer. It's really good. Okay, so thank you and yeah, bye. My Michael Todd eyeshadow base, uh, just on the eyelid. And this is really good because it gives your eyeshadow, it helps your eyeshadow stick to your eyelid. And if you pet it, it feel it has that tacky feeling, so you know that the shadows will stick to it. And first, I'm gonna go in with my um, Duo Fiber eyeshadow brush. I got this at the iMat show, and it's only six dollars. And I'm gonna go and use this matte eyeshadow from Michael Todd, and the shade is Baby Pink. Those they show up better in pictures, and they're easier to work with than 
shadows that are overly shimmery. So I'm just gonna put some on. This is just a base color to help everything blend a bit better. Um, it's not meant to be too noticeable. Okay, so next I'm going to use this crease brush, also from iMats. It's by a Japanese brand called Hakuhodo. They're also really good. Kind of expensive, but it's these are the softest brushes I've ever felt, and they are made in Japan, and they are handmade. So I'm gonna use this Michael Todd eyeshadow in Lush. It has some shimmer to it, and it's it has a really good color payoff, and it lasts for a while too. So I'm just gonna swirl and put into the crease. And I'm just going to clean that up by adding some more of the baby pink shadow with another crease brush and that'll help just blend it in a bit better. So it's not as harsh. For the blush, I just used powdered blush in Zodiac with a blush brush, and I just did one swipe. Because that's basically all you need. It's really pigmented, and yeah, for the lips, I just used my Rimmel lip gloss. It's a volume booster. The shade is Attract, and I just used that Rimmel lip gloss, and then I did my eyebrows. And I did mascara too. So that's the basic look and I hope you guys enjoy it. You do way more with this palette. This is just like an everyday look that I would use. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a great day guys. Bye!